Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneS.com and iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Today I am showing you Desconnect. It's an application that lets you share files from your Mac to your iPad and from your iPad to your Mac. So what you do is you drag and drop. I just did drag and drop the file on my Mac and it showed up on my iPad. So you have to install the clients for your Mac and for your iPad or your iPhone. And then you have to create an account. I created a dummy account just to show you guys how this works. And then you drag your files, the ones that you want, let's say an image, an MP3 that I have here. It's actually a large one and it transfers quickly. You can do videos, all kinds of things. And you drag it and drop it on the appropriate window on your Mac and it shows up on your iPad. So I created this meme on my Mac and then I just dragged and dropped it and it showed up here in a couple of seconds. You can handle text, images, videos, web pages. You can send your clipboard from your Mac to your, from your iPad to your Mac. Now, one of the big issues that I have with this application, the idea is very nice and can be very user friendly and make you productive. The, the application doesn't take so much it doesn't take you long to master. It really doesn't have a whole lot of bells and whistles so you can get it started quickly. The problem I have personally is the Mac client, not the iPad client, the Mac client just keeps losing connection. And that can be a little bit frustrating because you keep having to log in and trying to send files and that can get a little bit annoying. I, I'm not sure what why that is the case. I've tested on a couple of Macs uh, inside my office and also at home. I'm not sure why that's happening. So that's that's an issue, a small issue. Uh, maybe that's a a bug that's going to have to f get fixed sometime, sometime in the future. I have no idea about that. What I can tell you is that you can send photos from your device to your Mac. You can send your clipboard. Now, as you can see, I get a push error because in a few seconds that I started this presentation, Till now, again, my Mac client logged my logged me out, and I have to log back in again. So maybe that's just a feature. I don't. You know how the programmers are. That uh, it's not a, it's not a bug. It's a feature. So I don't know about that. But um, you do have the option to send websites, documents, clipboard, photos, as long as the connection is active. You also see how many devices are connected right now. Zero devices are connected because my Mac is logged me out so that's about it disconnect it's a very interesting application that you can transfer files this is the music I transferred it's a trans music just as an example it's an hour long mp3 file so it's not a small file exactly and it transferred quickly so when it works it's very well, working very well but when it doesn't hold the connection, that's when you're having issue. And if you are relying on it to actually transfer files, let's say from your iPad to your Mac for an important, let's say meeting, then that's going to be an issue. But other than that, it does work. The concept does work. And I can see why a lot of people are excited about it. So as long as the bugs are fixed and the application is reliable, think it's going to be very popular and there are no ads, there's no cost and all around useful application. So disconnect for iPhone and Mac, download the clients, sign up for an account and get it started. Thanks again for watching guys.